Target 8 getting results tonight after a tow truck company tried to charge a man thousands to get his truck back, even though the wheels had gone missing. When we first told you about this story last month, people called us offering the owner help. New tonight, there's a final chapter in the mystery of the missing wheels. Target 8 investigator Henry Erb is staying on this case. Okay. Michael Couch was a frustrated man when we talked to him in July about his beloved 95 Chevy Silverado pickup truck. I thought it was gone. I thought it was gone for good. Somebody stole it in early January from in front of his Grand Rapids home and dumped it in a Kentwood trailer park. A towing company hooked it a few weeks later. Then it sat on the towing company lot for nearly four months before anybody told Mr. Couch some sort of system failure between the towing company and Kentwood police. Then the impound lot told him storage fees would cost him nearly $12,000 to get his truck back, then $5,000. Oh, I said, man, I don't have that kind of money. They were he finally got them to settle for around $1,500. But when Image Towing finally returned his truck, it was undrivable. Up on blocks, its custom wheels gone. And that really hit home with some people. After our first report, we got calls and emails from a dozen people wanting to help, offering their own wheels, offering cash. But as it turns out, Michael Couch wouldn't need their help. I appreciate it, and to everybody who reached out, I say thank you. But what about those missing wheels? The owner of Image Towing Company, Kirk Wakefield, told Couch there were no wheels on his truck when the wrecker picked it up. I mean, if it didn't have wheels... But Target 8 investigators knocked on doors and found a neighbor had taken this photo of the stolen truck parked on a street a couple of weeks before they towed it. Yep, right between the go kart and the speed bump. And the custom wheels were still on it then. That interested Kentwood cops who were already helping Michael Couch get his stolen truck back. Yeah, so since the last time we talked, um, we actually were able to find some body cam footage from when the officer went out there. Image Towing says it followed the law and faxed information about the truck to Kentwood Police back in January when they towed it. Police say they never got the information, didn't know of the truck until May when Image wanted police paperwork that would let the towing company auction the truck as abandoned. I'm out with one of your stolen. An officer went to check. Impound in Kentwood. And take a look at this. There are Michael Couch's custom wheels still on his truck on May 24th, months after it had been towed in. You would have been out. Kentwood Police Captain Ryan Vanderveed called the owner of Image Towing. I just explained to him that we did in fact know that the vehicle was not picked up without wheels on it because of the body cam footage four months later. And he did offer then to make it right with Michael Couch. And Image Towing owner Kirk Wakefield did. Wrote Michael Couch a check to cover his losses. So he wrote you a check for uh, three grand. Not bad. Yeah. Well, you got you got nice new wheels out here, man. That's about how much it costs. <laughs> we had more questions for Image Towing. Hi, Owner Kirk Wakefield, Wakefield called us back. He says the reason he told Couch and us that the truck was found in the trailer park stripped of its wheels is because that's what a worker put on a note about the tow. But who took the custom wheels? He didn't admit, he just said um, he didn't know that he had employees that would do that. And in that phone conversation with us, Wakefield said he still doesn't know who got the wheels, but suspects it was one of two employees he fired, but he can't prove it. I spoke with several employees from Image. I'm not really sure who has the tires or where they are now or how they were removed. And that part of the story may remain a mystery. Since Image settled up with Couch, the police have moved on, and so has Couch. With your help, the, the truth came out. I'm Target 8 investigator Henry Earp. This story started with a tip to our Target 8 investigators. If you have a problem that you need solved, message us on Facebook or you can call us at 800-8-WOOD-TV.